Let's have a look at advanced settings for cameras in Archicad in order to create an animation. When I go into my camera settings, something that we haven't looked at down the bottom is the path. At the moment I've only got one camera, but it, I always like fixing my path first before I start. When I go into my path, I can create an amount of in-between frames. What this means is when I place my cameras, I'm not going to place a camera every time I want there to be a view. Like an animation, I want hundreds or thousands of views very close together, and I'm not going to do that for every camera, that's ridiculous. The more in-between frames I place, therefore, allows for more of those views without having to place the cameras, and that will slow down my animation, or it will increase the frames of my animation. The, the standard setting is 10 in between frames and so it's very relative to how closely we place our cameras together. If I place my cameras closely together then that's going to mean I will have more frames all up getting from one side of the room to another. Or I can do the same thing, so let's just undo that. Or I can do the same thing with less cameras and using more in-between frames. As a rule, we should only use as many in-between frames as possible or as few cameras as possible in order to make our path go where we want it to. Placing cameras is hard to do and get it to be smooth. Why? Just because we tend to not be fantastic at doing that. Uh, if we were to measure each one out, measure the angle of division that we're turning, then it would be a bit smoother. But it it's, tends to be better, smoother, if we have more in-between frames. So I'm going to increase this to 50 in-between frames. And I'm not going to place very many cameras at all. I need to make sure that I'm adjusting my camera because I'm not at the moment. Change that to 70 view cone. Like I said, 60 is natural, but 70 is nice. Apply. Still not doing this properly. There we go. Now I'm going to pick up the settings of this first camera. Alt to pick up the settings. And I'm going to place only three or four cameras. So we see here that my path's a little bit wonky, it's not perfectly fluid, but it's probably smoother overall than the other one just because I've got less cameras to mess it up. Now if I've got a path that's not particularly fluid, something that we haven't looked at before is our ability to use these elbows of the camera and they adjust our path and so they can make our path smoother. When I'm happy with the path, and the path is this spline line that's connecting my cameras, I'm then ready to do my animation once I have a path. To create an animation we go document, creative imaging, create fly through. Now when I'm testing it out I'm always going to use my 3D window and not my photo render window because it takes too long to photo render and then once I'm happy with the the frame rate, so the speed, when I'm happy with my smoothness, so the path, and when I'm happy with uh, what I'm viewing, then I can do a new one using the photo rendering window. For now, that'll be enough, and I'm always going to press save, not show. That way, by saving it, I can always look at it later. Where do I want to save it? I'm just going to save it to the desktop.